this is how they have their uniform when they're on shift. So we just feel by having them here, as he always would be. <laughs> He's on shift protecting, so <laughs> it's just our way of having them a little bit close to us. Skylar Blackie's parents have an entire room dedicated in his honor. He was 28 and doing a certification upgrade at the Nova Scotia Firefighters School when an expired fire extinguisher exploded. He died in hospital 11 days later. A fire school, in my mind, should be the safest place to be for a firefighter, and it just didn't happen. They, they, they didn't inspect it, and they let it go, and that's... Unfortunately, uh, the outcome of that was the loss of our son. In 2022, the provincial court found the school guilty of failing to perform routine inspections and keep adequate records. Now the training facility has received 41 new safety recommendations as a result of a third-party review ordered by the court. The province says it has noted 22 high-risk activities in the report but would not disclose details. It's unacceptable. And we can't be quiet anymore. We can't hope and wait because hoping and waiting is, could just lead to another death. And it has to change now. The Blackie family would like to see the firefighter school closed, at least until confidence and safety standards can be restored. Truro's fire chief and Blackie's former boss backs up their calls, and so does the Atlantic Firefighters Association. In our opinion, if Skyler's tragic death wasn't a, enough of a wake-up call for the people that run that institution, uh, we're not sure that the culture will, will ever change when it comes to safety. Uh, whether it's uh, time for a change of leadership or time for the government to step in, uh, you know, we, we need to get some people together to discuss that. Uh, but at the end of the day, Nova Scotia's firefighters need a safe place to conduct their training. The Nova Scotia Firefighters School declined an interview, but in a statement says it is actively implementing changes to create a safer training environment here at the facility. Angela McIver, CBC News, Waverly.